Tesla's Optimus robot is shattering the boundaries of what's possible, advancing at a pace far beyond what anyone anticipated. For years, Elon Musk's ambitious vision for humanoid robots faced widespread skepticism and even outright mockery. Only just months ago, critics pointed to rival Chinese robots performing synchronized dancing displays, confidently asserting that the United States and Tesla were hopelessly light years behind. Yet, in a stunning turn, Tesla's Optimus robot has not only closed that perceived gap, achieving many feats deemed impossible, but is now undeniably stealing the spotlight with its own dance moves, autonomous capabilities, and Elon Musk's bold promise of a multi-trillion dollar future of abundance. In a recent interview in a flurry of X posts, Elon Musk revealed how Tesla is about to rewrite the robotics rulebook with upcoming AI breakthroughs, proving that Optimus will soon no longer be a prototype, but a mass-produced game changer ready to reshape industries and economies. This is the dawn of a robotic revolution, and Tesla is leading the charge. Before we continue, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and visit my newly redesigned website, themarketisopen.com, for instant stock quotes and quarterly financial data going back up to 17 years, and it's all freely available. On Tesla's AI Day in 2021, Elon Musk unveiled the new project that Tesla was working on, but with a quirky twist. A human in a robot suit dancing awkwardly on stage. Critics dismissed this as a publicity stunt, saying that it was a joke, or would be years or decades away before any of this was even possible. Fast forward just three and a half years, and this year, we've seen China's humanoid robots like Unitree's G1 stealing headlines with their Lunar New Year dance performances on national television and boasting production goals of 5,000 units in 2025. Yet, behind closed doors, Tesla engineers are refining Optimus, and the results are nothing short of revolutionary. At first, Tesla's prototype could barely walk. Then just months later, it was walking around the Tesla floor space, but with a stiff jointed shuffle. But pretty soon Optimus could confidently stride on tough terrain up and down hills. Tesla's approach was still mocked, as companies like Boston Dynamics were using hydraulics, which allowed their Atlas robots to be more powerful, to jump into the air and do backflips, something that electric motors would simply not be able to accomplish. However, while Optimus may never be as powerful as Boston Dynamics' Atlas, its relative progress has been absolutely exceptional, as Tesla released a groundbreaking video of their robot dancing, which included short jumps into the air proving that it could compete, and essentially came full circle on Elon Musk's original unveil of the dancing human in a robot suit. Each time Tesla achieves a breakthrough or important milestone, Skeptics shift the goalposts, setting new, loftier expectations. But with every stride forward, Tesla's relentless innovation pushes Optimus closer and closer to becoming a truly exceptional product. In a CNBC interview from last week, Elon Musk declared that Optimus is the most sophisticated humanoid robot on Earth. He revealed that multiple Optimus robots now roam Tesla's Palo Alto lab 24-7, autonomously charging themselves and performing tasks without supervision. One slight caveat from Tesla's most recent conference call was that even though Elon Musk thinks that Optimus will be number one, numbers two through 10 on the leaderboard he thinks will probably be Chinese companies. Now, Elon Musk says that demand for this product will be insatiable. Humanoid robots will be the biggest product ever. Who wouldn't want an R2-D2 or C-3PO companion? And in an interesting turn of events, he's come to the conclusion that the government's waste, corruption, and overspending that he was focused on with Doge may in fact be unfixable, which is one reason why he's decided to step back from his role in the government and focus heavily on accelerating humanoid robot production at Tesla, among other projects, as he believes that it may be the only thing that can help the US by actually increasing GDP growth just as other groundbreaking technologies have done in the past. In order to make the US's massive debt load become insignificant under a much larger GDP. 
While Tesla's autonomous driving project he believes will affect GDP in one to two years, Optimus will be 10 times larger, but could take four to five years to move the GDP needle, which is why Elon Musk is back in the office 24 seven working on his companies to accelerate this growth. Now separately, Google founder Sergey Brin, who came back to the company to focus on AI, has been doing a number of interviews recently as Google unveils new features and AI advances in their products at Google I.O. Brin says that he may not be totally sold on the humanoid robot form factor, even though he agrees that he could be wrong, as many others are focused on it and are adamant that humanoids are the best. While there will for sure be many form factors in the future for robots, one reason that Sergey Brin could be wrong here is that humanoids have a gigantic advantage in that they can learn from humans. And Elon Musk says in this interview with CNBC that there are certain threshold breakthroughs that Tesla believes they can achieve. One of which is by having Optimus watch videos and learn from them just like a human can. But clearly with billions of hours of video content, Optimus can learn many skills very quickly. It's interesting that the Google founder isn't totally on board with the humanoid concept even though Google owns YouTube which houses all of this video content. Now while Tesla isn't there yet in terms of having the robot watch other humans in order to learn, this isn't insurmountable according to Elon. He thinks this is coming soon. Although interviewer David Faber seems to suggest that these robots will need a lot of training in order to learn a lot. Elon Musk says yes of course, but doesn't really correct Faber here, as training is not exactly the issue. Training is related more to the ability to scale in terms of data centers. Tesla has built what they call their Cortex data center at Giga Texas, and now they have reportedly started working on an even larger data center dubbed Cortex 2, which will be even more powerful and housing billions of dollars of Nvidia's new Blackwell chips. At the same time, Tesla continues to invest in their homegrown Dojo supercomputer. But these data centers are essentially providing the computational muscle, enabling the breadth, the quantity, and the accuracy of what the AI learns by processing massive data sets, training complex models, and refining outputs through scale. They're the engine for crunching data and optimizing performance. And Tesla seems to have mastered this, in the sense that they're keeping up their strength by building these new centers with the latest chipsets, just like other industry players. Although Tesla is learning from sister company XAI in terms of speed of data center construction and operation. And Tesla also specializes in hardware like megapacks, large batteries, which is another major advantage and crucial for maintaining and providing the large power requirements and uptime that these data centers need. But a paradigm shift, like a robot learning from watching YouTube videos, fundamentally changes how the AI learns, introducing a new method of knowledge acquisition, such as what Elon Musk is talking about with learning from humans through video, just how humans can watch other humans to grasp new concepts. This shift would expand the AI's ability to extract patterns and skills from diverse human-like sources. Large data centers then amplify this new learning method, allowing the AI to scale up its understanding by processing vast amounts of such data, enhancing both the depth and speed of learning within this new paradigm. And that's one of the breakthroughs that Elon Musk believes will eventually be or soon be attainable and will further unlock Optimus's capabilities and intelligence. But interestingly, Elon Musk brings up another simple example which is putting the robot in a room and letting it play with toys, such as putting it with the game with the square block that goes in the square hole, the triangular block and the triangular hole and so forth, as the robot learns to figure things out on its own by trying things, as long as there's some sort of reward function that incentivizes the robots to achieve some goal or get things to work. But this paradigm that Tesla is also working on will likely ultimately be even more powerful than learning from humans through YouTube videos. A classic analogy is Google's AlphaGo AI, developed by DeepMind, which initially trained on thousands of human games to learn strategies. However, their next version, AlphaZero, marked a breakthrough by training entirely through self-play, without relying on human data. It essentially played board games against itself, 
in an unsupervised manner. AlphaZero discovered innovative strategies unknown to humans and subsequently easily defeated top human players and even other powerful AIs in the games of Go and chess, etc., establishing itself as a powerful, general, superhuman AI. With this simple example of having Tesla's Optimus robot playing with blocks in an unsupervised fashion, Elon Musk appears to be alluding to the same concept of unsupervised or self-supervised learning from unstructured data. But instead of it being constrained to a chessboard or a game of Go, it's instead being trained on real-world data. That again is Tesla's bread and butter, as they've been collecting tons of real-world data through their vehicles. Now there's a path to do the same thing for general human-based information, except when the robot learns in an unsupervised fashion, it can still learn like a human, but can try more possibilities and develop novel and perhaps more efficient ways of accomplishing tasks that perhaps humans never thought of, or that robots can now do slightly differently or more rapidly thanks to their lightning-fast hardware and software-powered bodies that could redefine what robots can achieve with the human form factor. And so as Tesla leverages massive data centers and innovative training methods, this is why Elon Musk believes that Optimus is poised to redefine robotics and potentially revolutionize industries and boost economic growth by unlocking unprecedented capabilities. So do you think Tesla can achieve these breakthroughs in learning that Elon Musk is betting on? And once achieved, will they unlock enough value at Tesla to actually meaningfully move the GDP of the country. Don't forget to watch my last video on Tesla's upcoming affordable new models. Visit our website, themarketisopen.com. Please hit the like button and subscribe. We would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.